So you're here because you do not know how to fix your MacBook and it's constantly on reboot loop, right? You wanna know how to fix it? Here's what I made to tell you. Hey, what's up? I made it from MacAppic here and today I'm gonna to be telling you how to fix your MacBook if your MacBook is suffering from a reboot loop or if it cannot be recovered through the internet recovery method. Actually, before we go any further, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about what causes this issue to your MacBook. And if you don't wanna watch this part and you wanna skip into the tutorial, just skip into this timestamp and you're good to go. So many people do not know what causes this issue on their MacBook and especially this issue is caused on MacBooks that came after 2016 only on the MacBooks that contain the T2 chip. Uh, the T2 chip is the chip that is responsible for the security of these MacBook lineup which came after 2016. So such as the previous generation of redesigned MacBooks and the current generation of Apple Silicon MacBooks can face this issue in the future or now or you might have faced it already. The reason why these MacBooks face this reboot issue is because when this firmware of the T2 chip is corrupted, they tend not to work properly because the T2 chip is mostly responsible for the system management control of these MacBooks. So most of the times the firmware of the T2 chips can be can get corrupted because uh, when using an unauthorized app or using such as a pirated app or using a illegal website which can cause malware to your computer or even downloading and using pirated apps. So I would recommend you to not use and refrain from using any of those things even after fixing your MacBook. So let's get into the next part and see how to fix this MacBook first. Actually, uh, before we go into the next part, we are going to need a few things to fix this MacBook and this issue. And first of all, we're going to need a good internet with a good bandwidth. And uh, second of all, we're going to need a Mac. You heard it right. We're going to need another Mac. It can be a Mac Mini or a Mac uh, iMac or even a MacBook. I'd recommend uh, if you can find a MacBook or another MacBook of your friends or borrow it or go to a library or a public library who has an iMac and take your MacBook over there and do this thing and do it in a discreet way without uh, getting the attention of the people. So you wouldn't get any problem. So third thing that you would need is a cable to connect your MacBook to the other Mac that is going to be fixing your Mac. And fourth of all, you're going to need is the app. You're going to need, you're going to have to download an app called Apple Configurator on the iMac or the Mac that is going to be fixing your broken MacBook. And the Apple Configurator 2 is totally free. It is, it is a free app. It has no membership whatsoever. But if you're trying to use or download it on your iPhone, it, uh, it requires an Apple specific membership, which is a paid membership. So you do not want to do that. So it is free for MacBooks and it does not require any membership. So I would recommend you downloading the Apple Configurator 2 on the MacBook or the Mac that is going to be fixing your MacBook. So let's go to the other step, I mean the next step, and see how to fix this MacBook. So as you can see, I lined up these two MacBooks and I've got my MacBook, which is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I've got my friend's MacBook, which is a MacBook Pro 13 inch, which is an M1. And actually I borrowed it from my friend uh, to fix this issue because the 16 inch is my personal laptop and my personal MacBook and I was rendered useless and my work was also rendered useless because I couldn't fix it with any solutions I found out there without my friends' Mac or without a Mac. So I, wa so I had to uh, ask my friend for the MacBook and I've set it up and lined up over here on the table. You can see both the MacBook Pro 16 inch and the 13 inch as well. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Apple Configurator 2 on the App Store on the MacBook uh, that is going to be fixing your broken MacBook. In my case, the MacBook which does not work is the 16 inch, the bigger one, and the MacBook that I'll be using to download the Apple Configurator 2 is the MacBook Pro 13 inch, which is the smaller one. So before that, let's go to the step one. If you're wondering what's up with my dress, I wouldn't care much less about it because I'm pretty much busier than a housewife and you know I was out of town for two weeks or so. So here are the things that you're gonna need if you want to continue with the step one. 
you're gonna have to have a good internet connection because you will be downloading a file around 700 megabytes which is the firmware actually the firmware of the T2 chip and because if you want to fix your MacBook you're gonna have to download it no matter what you don't have a choice so the step two is you're gonna have to connect your MacBook to the Mac which is running the Apple configurator through a USB-C cable or a Thunderbolt or a cable that is compatible to doing this thing and third thing is once you've connected your MacBook successfully to the other Mac which is running the Apple configurator, you're gonna have to enter the DFU mode on the Mac which is facing the reboot loop. And don't worry, I'll put the commands over here or somewhere over here. And you need to follow those instructions or you can follow, you can find a video on how to enter the DFU mode on the YouTube or on the, on the internet. And follow the instructions and you're good to go. And once you've entered the DFU mode successfully without any issues, there will be an icon popped up on the Apple configurator to like this on the on this video saying DFU and once you've done all these steps you're gonna have to go to the Apple configurator and then right click on the DFU icon and then go to the advance and then click on revive. Actually what revive does is it's gonna download the Apple's T2 firmware through the Apple configurator and it's gonna install it on the MacBook which is facing the reboot issue and if it's successful your MacBook will restart and work like it did before without any data being affected or deleted in the process. So if the step one did not work you might have to go to step two. Actually step two is gonna delete all your files. Well I'll show you how to do the step two once the step one is completed. So in my case, the step one will take around a few minutes depending on internet connection because it's gonna download a file that's around 700 megabytes and it's trying to install it to your computer to the MacBook which is not uh, which is facing the issue. So once it's done, it might restart and work or sometimes it's not. In my case, it did not actually, revive did not work at all. But I've already downloaded the firmware so I can proceed to the step two right now. For the step two, you're gonna have to enter the DFU mode one more time because your MacBook is out of the DFU mode. And once you've entered the DFU mode, you wanna go back to the Apple configurator and right click on that DFU icon and then click restore. Actually, before you do that, keep this in mind. Restoring is going to delete and wipe out everything on your MacBook, including the operating system and nothing is recoverable, not a single data. And you do not have a choice either because you know, this is the last reserve, sort of, and this is definitely gonna work, but you're gonna have to download the OS after this. So, you're gonna have to right click on the DFU icon, as I said, and click on restore. And once your MacBook is successfully restored, you're gonna be prompted to the screen of internet recovery. And you're gonna have to connect your MacBook to the internet and it's gonna take a few minutes and then you'll be proceeded to the startup utility screen where you'll have to download the Mac OS. In my case, here's something that you have to know. You won't be prompted to the startup utility of Mac OS Monterey even if you had updated it before. And you will, you will be prompted to the startup utility screen of the Mac OS which came with your particular Mac. In my case, this is a 2019 16 inch and this thing came with Catalina, so I had to download Catalina and you can't even use an external bootable drive either. In this case, it did not work for some reason, I don't know why, but it did not. So the macOS Catalina was around 6 GB and I had to download the macOS Catalina, but fortunately after downloading and installing macOS Catalina, I had the external bootable drive of Monterey and then I installed it once again, then I was good to go. And I got my MacBook back again and it was all sound and running good like it did before but without my files. All my files were wiped out and gone and I had to start from the beginning like I brought a new MacBook even without a backup. And that's how you fix your MacBook if it's facing a reboot loop issue and this solution only applies to the MacBooks that came after 2016 because only those MacBooks come with T2 and the ones that came before 2016 does not have a T2 chip. So thanks for watching guys and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because if you want more videos like this and if you want me to upload constantly because I'm a very busy man, I work from 9 to 8 and yeah, I know, it's pretty and a rough life I'm living but if you want me to get out of that life and if you want to support me to make more content and you know make it a full-time job uh, uploading videos on the internet 
go ahead, like this video, subscribe, and comment below any of the issues you're facing with your MacBook. I'll see if I can do anything and I'll do my best. And catch you on the next one.